Hello and welcome to a new video of Applebaum.com. My name is Joost Applebaum and this is our first ever Q&A. We asked our Instagram followers some questions in our stories and thought it was time to do this. I loved all of your questions and we have selected a couple which we will answer in this video. Let us know if you want us to do this more often in the comments below. Oh, and if you don't want to miss out on any video of us, subscribe to our channel. Let's have a look at the first question. The first one is always a good one. Well, actually, I didn't start the business myself. My father, he opened the bookstore back in 1989 and he had a small corner with luxury writing instruments reserved in the store. It was really a hobby of him. I also remember that back in the days he brought the broken pens back home to have them fixed at the dinner table. Those are great memories. Unfortunately he passed away in 2010 and a few years later I stepped into the family business. Since I didn't have a lot with reading and books I decided to focus completely on the writing instruments. And look where we are now here today. Actually, this is quite a funny question because it is online as of today. We didn't have the pilot pens in our store for a long time because the pricing in Europe is completely different as it is in Japan and in the US. The prices in Europe were almost 20 to 30 percent higher for the popular models. Since most of our clients live overseas, we didn't want to add the brand to our collection because otherwise everybody would say, look, upper bone. It's very expensive and it will affect our businesses with the other brands as well. But earlier this year Pilot stopped by to talk about the future and they told us that the price difference is not there anymore. So it was time for us to step in. The Pilot pens are very popular and are well made. I could recommend you all to have one. The reason for us to not carry the pens for such a long time was just an economical reason. It is a little bit the same as with normal relationships. Some relationships are better than others. With the brands that we sell the most we have a very close contact and we are placing orders on a daily basis. I can WhatsApp with some sales agents even in the middle of the night if there's something that needs their attention at that moment. I'm very happy with them because they help me with information in such a short time which also let us work faster and provide our clients the information that they are looking for. Now and then we're invited by the brands for factory tours and a few of them you can find on our channel as well. Like the one that we did in the Pelican factory or the Aurora and the Montegrappa tours. Communication is very important for us. I have to admit that we have let some brands go or didn't went in a corporation with them because the communication was bad. Some brands create beautiful writing pieces, but if they are not able to respond to emails, it is hard to work with them. The waffles or the stroopwafels in Dutch can always be found in all our packages. We ship them with every order and is a manner of our appreciation to our customers. We truly appreciate the business that we get from you and this is a little thank you. The waffles are very Dutch. We eat them when we are drinking coffee or tea. There are also larger size waffles which you can place at the top of your mug. So the syrup inside the waffle gets warm and it melts on your tongue it's, it's funny how much positive feedback we get on the waffles. Apparently our foreign customers really like them and perhaps we should consider to selling the waffles as a co-product on the website because everybody is asking for them. It's, it's amazing. That's a tough question. I love to package every pen. Some are more convenient than others, but I'm happy to sell a product that is in a solid square box most of the time. That makes gift wrapping much easier. Imagine if you have to gift wrap a ball, for example.
For the beginners, a stuff nib is better because it allows for more rotation. An italic, especially a crisp italic, doesn't allow for any rotation in the end. There are plenty of other specialty nibs which are fun to write with. I recommend to just try them all out and see for yourself what you like. Oblique nibs are always fun to write with to give your handwriting a little extra character. If a nib specialist, which we have by chance in house in the person of Annabel Hiller, has determined there is no saving then one should replace the nip. A bent nip can be bent back and tipping material that has worn off can be reshaped into something usable. At some point there might be absolutely no tipping left though or the repair cost of a nip doesn't match the nip value. At that point I would say it's time for a new nip or even better a completely new pen. I got this question a lot, so, and I'm not sure if I can even talk about it. I know that I'm not allowed to share any pictures, but talking about it is something different, right? Well, let's not risk that I will lose my license to sell Montblanc. So I will keep it short. Montblanc will bring some great novelties into the markets this year. There will be a new writer's edition, a new great characters, and a new patron of arts. I'm sure you can find online to which persons these editions are dedicated. Last year the 149 with the flex nib was a great success. In the upcoming year Montblanc will launch another 149 with a specialty nib, which is definitely a must have for every collector. That's all for now, otherwise you will have to look for another Montblanc dealer, because then I will lose my license. Thank you so much for watching our first Q&A. It was really fun to do. Let us know in the comments below if you want us to do it more often and share your question in for the next episode. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, don't forget to do so.